Rock to Vor R3 has just arrived! So today for our Beyblade show, it's going to be very exciting because thanks to Jay Pineapple Productions for making all this possible, running to all those Kmart just to get this for us, we're going to be doing the unboxing slash review of the Rocktober R3 product. And before we continue, I highly recommend you subscribe to this channel. I'll have a link in the description below for it. Super awesome. You will not regret it. Awesome content. Highly recommend you subscribe. But yeah, let's just uh, take a look at this product. So here we have Berserker Rock Tavor R3. Here we have Blaze Ragnarok. And this is just for the comparison, just for the box. And yeah, pretty excited. Uh, this bay is pretty cool. Uh, you got Squid Strike logo right there. That's just the god ability for the actual lair and or driver. You see just drawing a kinetic Satum right there. Uh, app. Download the app. Pretty cool. Uh, here we have just the Japanese uh, actual Takara Tummy box. It's just for comparison. Just to say, you know, uh, an actual Takara Tummy version. It comes in a small little booster box. Really compact. Yeah, that's it. Uh, God Lair System. They just call it Squid Strike uh, for the actual Hasbro version of it. And now just to actually go over the parts. Because I was actually going to go look at the app. But um, the thing is, um, with specific parts like the two-part Forge disc, uh, they count uh, the disc and the frame as just sort of together. So when they're actually ha when they have like AKA like uh, uh, Rock to R3, it's AKA Raging Rock to R3, right? Or Berserker Rock to R3, I correction. For this one, I'll just say um, for DR29, I'll just say 4C. It's the disc of four, and the frame is cross. Driver is uh, TS11, which is a uh, Fugal. Just to go over the little switch strike abilities, uh, spin area, wings. So the wings right there just kind of like spin when you're battling with it. Fugal, propeller shaped blades. Pretty cool. Nice stamina type A. It's uh, kind of it just uh, for the front, covered the stats and everything. That's uh, kind of it for this, just this. So yeah, we're gonna open it. Uh, we'll go part by part. We'll compare it to the Takar Tom version. So now we have the base to do a part by part comparison. On the top, we have Berserker Rock Tavor R3. On the bottom, we have the Takaratami Blaze Ragnarok. And the compared to the Takaratami one, it's pretty accurate almost. There's, it's just missing uh, some parts where stickers would be, like this part right here, uh, here, uh, a little bit around. They covered some of it, which I guess it's fine. Uh, also, nothing to actually mention the god chips are not removable, they're just stuck on there. Uh, with the actual Takaratami one, for those who don't really know, there's something called a god chip. You're actually able to remove this and you can actually customize it. You can put maybe WBBA god chip, you can put a metal god chip on it. Uh, that's a notable difference. Another thing, uh, this layer has a slope while this one has teeth. Teeth is like this little pointy stuff around the layer. The other one just, it's just literally just like a circle. Nothing really like crazy. And yeah. So for the disc, or is this gonna, or as they're gonna call it for Hasbro, the two-part forged disc, um, it's 4C for the Taco Tommy one. Again, same thing, four cross, pretty much accurate. Uh, the color for this one's a little bit brighter, which I do like compared to the actual uh, regular Taco Tommy frame. Driver both being fugal, only difference is um, Taco Tommy has a transparent one. Hasbro does not have transparent driver, and uh, yeah. It's kind of it for uh, differences. Nothing really too big. Only thing is maybe the layer just a little bit, but the rest is pretty solid. Sure, both bays fully assembled. This one right here is the actual Hasbro Switch Strike Bay. This one's the Takara Tommy one. Again, not really that much of a difference. Pretty accurate so far. I am liking these Switch Strike uh, bays. They look really cool. Only really small differences, but yeah, other than that, pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, we're just going to do a quick little uh, test launch with it. So here we have our Berserker Rock Tavor R3. Pretty cool, we got our Switch Strike um, LR uh, Ripcord Launcher. Really like this uh, Ripcord Launcher. Before we had like a small old blue one, small Ripcord. This one's really cool. And yeah, so we're just gonna do a little test launch. So, three, two, one, little rip. That's the sound of it's not gonna be too crazy in the base stadium. 
Do like what they're doing so far with these bays. Hope they keep it up. I am curious to see what other recolors they might actually have, what they'll do for it. And yeah, so as we're doing a pretty good job so far with these Swiss Trek bays, really love what they're doing so far. Hope they do actually keep it up. Yeah, pretty cool. So anyways, so yeah, I, I really like a Rocktober R3. I, there's actually no complaints for this. It's, it's pretty solid, I like it. And the funny thing is too, like I said, in the box, the frame is uh, not transparent, but in the actual uh, bay, it is transparent. So sometimes I guess the box is wild mislabeling, but yeah, good job Hasbro. I love all the Swiss track bay so far. Uh, like I said also in the video, if you're wondering about QR codes, we already have separate videos on that. Uh, also, subscribe to J Pineapple Productions made this video possible, made all these uh, videos possible. Super thanks. And uh, just like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you want to see more awesome British content, unboxings, battles, app gameplays, you name it, and more. And as always, have an awesome Rock to Voren day.